you know, I think we've done a really pretty good job with it. Today was a before the half, which we hadn't run and just trying to get a kickoff. You know, if you, if you don't get a good first play, a lot of time before the half, you're going to back off somewhat that way. Um, you know, knowing when to get out of bounds, certain plays we have that are designed to get, get the ball out of bounds. You know, working, you know, some of the, some of the management things with the terminology and when you're going to clock it and at what time and things that way. So, yeah, we've done it uh, probably today was like the fourth day. We did it probably six times in the spring. So and each quarterback gets a, gets a rep of it. Complete passes, you know, complete passes. The guys know and understanding. We've been done a lot of situational things. Not only that, third down, the guys understand, hey, the running back's got to know it's third and two. They got to know it's third and three. All right, understand, hey, we want to get the first and you want to try to break the run. All right, so that part, same with the receivers on third and eight. You don't really adjust the routes as much, but it's just knowing where it is and what time it is. Hand in the ball to the official on two minute or anything like that. So all the things we kind of prep them with. Yeah, no, he can he can run and he's, he's a little bit bigger and he's he doesn't have the experience Cates he has. He can throw it. He's gotten a lot better. I keep forgetting, I told him this yesterday, I forgot, he, I keep forgetting they only had five practices in the spring, you know? And he's now he's getting a lot of, and a lot of those were against the twos. It's different when he go from against the twos and he going against our one defense. So that's really helped him. So I've seen him take a, a big jump that way. And same with Casey. But Chavo more because he didn't have that many reps in spring. Yeah, two-minute drill. Uh, I mean, obviously, you have to understand the scenario and the situation. So usually it's less than two minutes, and you have to drive the whole field. It's either end of half or it's the end of the game, and you need a touchdown or you need a field goal. And then you also have to ask the, off the offensive coordinator, the head coach, or the uh, special teams coordinator, where's the kick line? So you know as soon as you get over to the other side of the field, kind of um, where the kick line is and where we need to spot the ball. So I just say understanding the situation and understanding football is important. Uh, as a quarterback, knowing uh, to not take a sack, uh, knowing to not scramble unless you're going to get positive yards or a first down, and then just knowing the areas of the field that the defense usually gives up during two minute and where they don't give up. A lot of times outside the numbers, they'll give that up. They give up the underneath uh, check downs. Um, we've had two two minute drills uh, so far. I've gone two times. And uh, the first time that we did it, uh, we were not successful. We ran out of time. I think a few weeks ago, we got down. We drove the field for like, you know, uh, from the opposite 30, drove down to the red zone, ran out of time, uh, tried to hit a pass to Trey Palmer, and we ran out of time on a fourth down. And then we had one uh, just the other day where uh, we needed a, a touchdown at the end of the game. It was a minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We had one timeout, and uh, we needed a touchdown. He drove the ball all the way down the side, uh, the red zone, and the defense also. Uh, stopped us. So, I mean, they're doing a really good job. We just we just ran out of time, and you know, the coaches put us in a lot of adverse situations for our two-minute drill. But I would say being smart with the football, understanding the situation, and just maintaining composure at quarterback is very important.